Hi, I'm Dr. Judith Cussey. I'm an educational and child psychologist. Hello, my name is Kafaya Letu. I'm the chair of the Greenwich Parents Carers Participation Forum. Autistic young people sometimes find it difficult to use flexible thinking, meaning they might find it hard to adapt to the way they think or act in different settings. They may feel anxious because they're uncertain about new things. They may also struggle to see how things come together or seeing the bigger picture. An autistic young person might find it hard to adapt to unknown or last minute changes because they can get set in their everyday routines. This provides comfort and any change can create major upset. They might engage in specific behaviours that help them to manage uncertainty. Such behaviours might be repetitive and can become restrictive, such as pacing, vocalising in a particular manner, repeating particular words or holding on to a particular toy in all situations. They might find it difficult to change their focus and move from one activity to another. They may become upset if they're not able to finish something before moving on. Other people might not realise how important it is for the child or young person to have been able to finish what they're doing, no matter how small or irrelevant it seems. An autistic child might find it hard to progress with the development of self-help skills such as toileting because moving on to the next level is a change. At school, an autistic child might find it difficult to change their approach to learning. For example, they might be able to build a tower but only with certain blocks, in certain manner. This might be problematic. If it's not possible for them to engage in this way or if, it's, if this approach does not match the purpose of an activity, they might find it difficult to move to a different area of the nursery or school. For example, going to the lunch hall or going in from the playground. An autistic child or young person may require some support if they are expected to adapt to different teachers such as in secondary school and where there are different expectations associated with different people. In this context, they might also experience difficulties with managing changes to the timetable and classrooms. In social settings, difficulties might also be encountered with managing the different social situations in and outside of school. A fear of the unknown might encourage children or young people not to fit with experiment with different situations or contexts. They might become very upset in response to unexpected changes, for example, taking a different route to visit a member of the family. An autistic child might find it difficult managing a new environment, such as a medical appointment at a new setting or going to an unfamiliar shop. This can impact upon daily life. They might find it difficult to accept the ending of a favourite activity. For example, they might want to watch the same TV programme over and over. This can prove tricky if other people at home want to watch something else. At times, moving on from a favourite activity can cause great upset and result in demonstration of difficult to manage behaviours. Provide structure and predictability predictability as this might help a child or young person to feel safe and settled. Always have a plan B ready in case of change. Be prepared to have another option that the child and young person is familiar with for the instance change of routine, menu, establish and maintain a daily routine, use visual prompts such as timers, photos, videos, mobile apps, organizers, calendars or checklists. Use visual timetables and sequences such as a now next spot to help them understand what is happening now and what will happen later. Provide warnings and preparation if there are going to be changes to routine or the usual sequence of activities. Provide countdowns for transitions between activities as this might help a child or young person understand an activity is ending and so prepare themselves for this. Use of social stories or comic strips can be helpful in terms of coaching children or young people through new or difficult social situations. YouTube videos are particularly good resource to prepare for changes and how to highlight how changes have been successful with other people on the spectrum. We have new settings or changes for routines. Teaching strategies for stress or anxiety management can be helpful for children or young people in terms of dealing with feelings that changes, transitions or new situations might evoke. 
help the young person let you know how they're feeling and when they're overwhelmed. Using emotions charts and visuals can help. Engage children, young people, their families and professional network to develop and implement transition plans when appropriate. This can include joint working, health workers, social services, schools, etc. Working directly with parents and local partnership services, we're creating a series of videos to help and advise families who have an autistic child. In this series, we'll cover everything from how to speak with young people to dealing with everyday situations like dinner time or traveling. We'll give you tips and tricks that parents and professionals have learned through their own experiences and also teach you a little bit about what autism may mean for your child or young person. A very special thank you goes to the Greenwich Parent Care Participation Forum who were instrumental in co-producing this series alongside professional services.